Hello, Jack here, and I got some, sent some stuff in the post, and you'll never guess what it is. It's a loot crate. Yep, I jumped on the bandwagon and thought, I'll get a loot crate, they looked cool. And um, they're about £20 a month. Um, I think they're worth the money, because you normally get about, say, 30 maybe even £40 worth of stuff in there, as you may even see in this box. Firstly, I have already opened this box, I know what's inside, so there's going to be no surprises for me. Um, however, you may already know if you've, say, watched Ashens or another YouTuber that opens these things because I normally get these quite late, living in the UK, which isn't handy, <coughs> but yeah. Um, so, let's get this open. First off, ooh, crate packaging simulator. You can't really see that on the camera. There you go, you can see it. Crate packing simulator 2015. It looks like a board game. Um, we may get this open, we may have a play if we can. Um, yeah, cool, interesting. Right, but we first we've got to get the stuff out before we can uh, smash it open. Right, cool. Hexbug, Hexbug original to be specific. The worst one of them all. Um, you could have got the lava, the scarab and the ant. Um, any of those would have been good, just not the original one. I find it's too girly, um, and as an insult as well, it's pink. Hmm. See, I wouldn't mind it if it was a nice blue or red, but pink, so cheers for that. If you did get another one, say the Scarab, um, I'd definitely do a swap, because um, this one's boring, it's slow, it's hmm, so where the Scarab is a lot quicker and cooler. Oh no, wait, you won't trade it if you know it's cool. Oh, it's rubbish. Oh. Cool, let's move on. Next up, from Kid Robot, let's move that back. Kid Robot, we have Money World. Money World, from Loot Crate. They like to stick their name on everything now. Um, branding and all that. Um, yeah, like I said, from Kid Robot, it's a make your own pop vinyl y vinyl -y figure thing, um, which you can do whatever you like with. It does come with. Um, uh, wipe off marker pens, just scrub off whatever you've done if you've made a mistake and like me, a terrible, terrible drawer um, they're good, never gonna do something like that um, what's it say on the back? you can draw on money, that's its name you can paint on money, use pens, pencils and crayons on money cool Make things to put in money's hands. Make hats to put on money's head. Put shoes on it if you like, why not? Maybe even some gloves. Get your nan to knit something for it. Say you're having a baby and she'll sort of knit you some small thing, handy gloves and you can just stick it on that. Just go, ha ha, not really having a baby. Sorry about that. Cool. Well it does say, or you can leave, just leave money alone and keep money next to you for company. So just leave him white and plain and just have him sat by your bed whilst you watch. You know, what he watches you sleep or whatever. Having a look at him though, properly. Oh, get out. There you go. Nice. It's heavy. It's not cheap or anything. The arms move. The head moves all the way around. So you just have that whilst you sleep facing the other way, you know. Give it some scary eyes. Q, that's nice. Um, I'm going to have a crack at that later. I might show you what that comes out like because again, I'm not a good drawer. Move over there, money man. What else did we get? Rolled the giant spliff. Just kidding. It's a poster. An oddly shaped poster. Um, by the looks of it, it's a Pac Man cartridge. Um, separated its layers out. Not particularly interesting for me. Maybe it is for you, I don't know. Quickly moving on. Have. Hmm. Let's see. Dice. Dice. Um, I spent ages trying to work out what these little things meant on the actual dice. Two. Zero, maybe. Two again. Fist. Um, basically, what it actually is, it's rock, paper, scissors. Rather than doing it with your hands, you actually take a colour each, shake them, and see who wins. Um, who did win? Um, paper won. Um, yay, you win. Um, cool, I'm never going to use that. Um, so I like the old fashioned way of just using your hands. Next up, a 
book. Um, Luke Crate's kind of gone away from a generic, the generic pop vinyl, other than giving you the one that you can make yourself, or a t-shirt, and actually giving you a really nice book. One that I might actually read. I'm not normally a fan of books, but it <sighs> looks pretty interesting. Um, delightful. The Grown Ups Harry Potter Huffington Post. You can always trust them. And it is a New York bestseller and is titled Ready Player One. From the cover, it's um, Pikey's stacked high and more Pikey's stacked high. Don't know where the player comes in or whether it has any related things to games or whatever. We'll see. Um, Maybe not. So you can go there. Um, the badge. I like the badge. Many don't. Um, I, I don't use it. It kind of just goes back into the box and it just gathers dust along with the rest of it under my bed. Um, Super Fight, the Loot Crate deck. It's not the typical ace to king. Uh, deck. It is an actual game with a lot, a hell of a lot of cards, and there's a the rules. Still not read those. Um, I imagine it's pretty confusing, but there's not a lot of rules. Um, let's get that to focus. You can snapshot that if you can. If it's not blurry, you can maybe make your own way of playing the game. Ocelot, sushi chef. Water Buffalo, they're the white cards. Black cards, Flaming Hands. Throws water balloons filled with acid. Is this like Cards Against Humanity or something? I don't. Godzilla's Stomach. Old Rope Bridge Over Lava. I'm actually very intrigued and will give this a go with lots of alcohol. Fighters cannot see or hear. Fighters are jousting. Fighters are bungee jumping next to each other. Ah, exciting. And there's that. Um, yeah, I'll try and learn the rules for it. I haven't really got the uh, patience for it. Get out badge. Firefly. Buddhist temple concept art. Is there a code? Um, I don't see a code. If you see it, you can have it. Um... Firefly, blah blah blah. Let's get rid of that. I'm not going to use it. And the book, the magazine. I like the magazine. Some interesting reads on that. Shall we play a game? It's a little letter to the looters. Pictures. You may be in that. Hi, if you're in it. I'm not. I mean, Dad, no, that's me. You can totally tell that's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the man wearing the socks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's play together. An article on why co-op games are good for you. I'm not going to read that. I haven't read a single one of these fully. I just like looking at what I didn't get in the Mega Crate. And what didn't I get in the Mega Crate? Or you, for that matter. It's the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Quadcopter with integrated... FPV camcorder worth $800. I think you can get this in the UK for about £300 at Maplin's. I'm sure I saw it on sale from 350 to 300 just before Christmas. Whether that's still the case, I'm not sure. Um, also, we have the Dremel Idea Builder 3D printer. $1,000. That is crazy. I'd love one, but I probably would pick it up, buy it, stick it here and never use it. So it'll just gather dust like the rest of the things that I buy. Number three, it's the Oculus Rift development kit. Every YouTuber has one of these except me because I'm not famous enough. So I'm missing out. Please send me one. Just be kind. I'll review it and everything. I'll be like PewDiePie. <laughs> and some Lego. Bloody hell, that's expensive Lego. Minecraft Lego. Jesus. $65 for a but, oh my! Mm, I like Lego. I still buy it and play with it. Um, game controllers. You can't play without them. You're not wrong there. Unless you have a touchscreen phone. Um, goes right from the Atari 
2600 joystick to the steam controller at the top that is one ugly controller um, I don't know that's going to come out I don't want to buy it so I do have a steam account with some games on it um, money design contest might participate that if they've got like a worst money of the year award um, categories oh categories most votes most resourceful best team best kid design best hero slash villain look alike most fashionable best video game best modified judges pick best pro cool some details on the book probably copy and pasted from whatever's on the back uh, the dice and the rules ah oh, see these are the hex bug things i would have loved any of those, just not that one. Even in green it looks good, but I've got the freaking pink one. Cheers, lads. See the scarab one, it looks amazing. The ant one, Jesus. And the glow, oh, the glow and the dark ones. Mm, that looks so cute. If you have that, send me that. And I want it. And on the back, it's a bit on the concept art. Cool, right. So that's the loot crate for you. Um worth every penny in my in my day. I, I might not sound like I like all of these um, trust me I do they're very good at collecting dust under my bed and in my cupboards and things like that because I've got a few of these now in fact I actually do have a spare one it's a November edition from last year the theme was pirates and ninjas I've opened it I've taken nothing out of it in fact if you don't trust me let's get this out of the way there it is it's the November crate see I've opened it and all the stuff still inside it I'll be giving that away um, the link is in the descriptions for that you do have to subscribe so you've got to subscribe to my channel first then go over to the um, website it's like raffle something um, and it generates a winner from my subscribers so do subscribe otherwise you don't win and don't just click it the link and then blah 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 without subscribing because it won't find you be a waste of your time so yeah um subscribe um it is a good box i just happened to get two of these sent in the post because one come very late i complained um they just sent me another one and then i got this one then the one that was originally sent out come the day after so i don't need this one so yeah subscribe and you might win there we go the loot crate unfolded the crate packing simulator 2015 maybe if they do one next year it'll be better than this one because it is crap um you use the dice like rock paper scissors they actually have value one two and three it's outlined there um and the idea of it is to fill up your loot crate with all the stuff see generic pot vinyl and the t-shirt and once you fill up with all the other items um you've won so very interesting and by the way he's Jeff he's John